Hey YouTube, this is Iron Knuckle here. Welcome to this massive old school Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. Today I will be opening uh, packs from The Legend of Blue Eyes to The Lost Millennium. I can't wait to open these up for you guys. I'm super excited. It's going to be super nostalgic, so let's get started. So here we have the stack of packs. Let's get started. I mostly uh, got these packs off of uh, eBay from individual sellers, so um, I'm not sure the pull rates on them, or I did ask if they were weighed, so that's a thing. But I did get a couple of these packs from the uh, Legendary Collection 1 Game Board Edition. This is from that pack. You can tell this is not a first run of Legend of Blue Eyes because of the logo. Also the Konami logo up there. I do have a couple first ed packs, so I'll be sure to point out what the Konami logo looks like and what you're looking for if you're shopping for these packs. So let's get started with Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Hoping for an Exodia piece, that, that'll be it, but other than that, uh, nothing too great in this set. Might be the first set, but nothing great. So we start off with Dark King of the Abyss, very crazy artwork, Beast Fangs, Spike Seedra. And a super rare Regeki cannot get any better than that. What a first pack. Oh my goodness. A Regeki. Unbelievable. That's a very good card. And our rare is Flame Ghost. Usually, and another thing to tell from your old school packs is, um, normally uh, the old school packs only have one hollow in them, or one rare in them at a time. This came with two because this is a reprint run, but dang, get in a regeki. It's awesome. Basic insect, vile germs, petite angel, and succubus knight. So what a great first pack. Unbelievable. I'll be sure to uh, recap all my rares and hollows and all that good stuff near the end of the video. So if you want to skip ahead, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Okay. Wait, oh no, okay. Next we have Metal Raiders. This one is also from the Game Board edition of Legendary Collection 1. Very cool collection. So I'll move these packs out of the way. So we start off with Larva Moth, Armored Lizard, Stim Pack, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number one. Uh, Rare Magician of Faith, I'll take it. That's really good. That's awesome. I love Magician of Faith. Rock Ogre Garado, number one. Legul, Share the Pain, and Leo Gun. Very nostalgic cards. Very ton of vanilla monsters. I love it. I believe this is one of the... This is Unlimited. You can tell by the Konami uh, logo. It's a bit different. It's boxed in, but it's not the original one. The original one is the square one. But... Let's see. So this is just unlimited, not first edition. If I can get that open, that'd be great. Finally did. Alright, so we start off with Disc Magician, Pale Beast, Hunter Spider, uh, Hyosubi, Blade Fly is our rare, cool. Illusionist, Faceless Mage, Pegasus use that, and Pegasus use that card too, Dragon Piper, Oguchi, and Mystic Horseman. Gosh, these cards, very, very nostalgic, I love them. Next, we move on to the third set of the TCG, Spell Ruler, or in old school terms, Magic Ruler. So let's get started. Start off with Red Archery Girl, the Reliable Guardian. Whiptail Crow, Gravekeeper Servant, Flying Ka uh, Kamakiri, number one. Dark Zebra, Eternal Rest, Spear Cretan, and a Course of Sanctuary. I know uh, Magic Ruler or Spell Ruler are really, um, the packs are really sought after just for a common for Upstart Goblin, because Upstart Goblin is really good. Second pack. So getting any upstart goblin in a spell ruler pack is that you get your money back. So we start with Snake Fang, Minar, Stone Ogre Grotto, 
Flash Assailant. Hero Shadow Scout is our rare. Then we have Eternal Rest, Performance of Soul, and Twin Long Rods. Oh wait, one more Boar Soldier. There we go. Next, the fourth set is Pharaoh's Servant. I think Jinzo is in this one, if I remember correctly. So we have Light of Intervention, Major Riot, Insect Barrier, Gust, Nobleman of Extermination is our rare, Bite Shoes, Driving Snow, Cyber Falcon, and Gradius. Awesome. Gradius card's pretty cool. Our second pack of Feral Servant. We start off with Wing Weaver. Solomon's Law Book. Never understood that card. Deep Sea Warrior. Uh, Kaistai, I believe. Skull Invitation is a rare. So we're on a dry spell. Uh, Steel Garotter 2, Harfie's brother, very good card back in the day, 1800. Attack and Receipt, and Mr. Volcano. Pretty cool. So, now we move on to Labyrinth of Nightmare, personally my favorite set. And I got these first edition, edition excuse me, you can see the Konami logo where my thumb is. That's how you tell. This is going to be a great pack. Probably. If I can get it open. The rares in this set are not spectac spectacularly great. Some of them are just spirit messages, so I'll be kind of disappointed if I get a spirit message. But anything is nice, because this set was my all-time favorites. Start off with Empress Mantis, Spirit of the Flames, Lightning Blade, Grada, the Wind Spirit, and a super rare Fire Princess, first edition. Very nice. Awesome. One of my buddies uh, ran a Fire Princess deck. It was pretty cool. So, wow. Very nice. First edition. Mmm. So we start off. And next, after that, is Lightning Conjure. I'm losing it a little bit. Dancing Fairy. Not bad. Worm Drake. And Amazon Archer. Yeah, you can definitely tell the feeling of these cards are a lot more... Um... Kind of like powdery, I wouldn't call it powdery, just like a different texture um, than regular unlimited cards. Very interesting. So we start off with Gadget the Soldier, Fairy Guardian, Offerings to the Doomed, Malekid the Four Face Beast, Jam Breeding Machine, love it. <laughs> Can't escape that card, I always pulled that one. Deal of Phantom, Flying Fish, Crimson Sentry. And Miracle Dig. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Next set is Legacy of Darkness. I don't know what the cover card is. I forgot. What is it? That is... Ah, uh, Yamada Dragon. It was on the tip of my tongue. That would be a spirit monster. Spirit monsters are pretty cool. So we start off with Frontier Wiseman. Possessed Dark Soul. Super Rejuvenation, super good card. Bad Reaction to Samochi, and our rare is Thunder Nyan Nyan. Alright, cool, <laughs> I guess. Dragon's Gunfire, a Wing Beat of Giant Dragon, Dragon Manipulator, and Life Absorbing Machine. Alright, interesting. Next pack, we have another Legacy of Darkness. So we start off with ominous fortune tell fortune fortune telling, excuse me, goodness. Mysterious Guard, Stampeding Destruction, Spring of Rebirth, and our ultra rare last turn. That is awesome. I know this card is banned. Oh my goodness. That's super, super amazing. Last turn. I've always seen this card, but to pull it, dang, that's awesome. I love it. That's super cool. I, lo I, I love it. I'm way into it. Next we have Grey Wing, ready for intercepting Nutrient Z, and Warrior Digreffer. Digreffer's in a lot of artwork um, in some cards. Pretty cool. So 
ultra rare, our first ultra rare pull. Next set would be Pharaonic Guardian. I think the cover card is Help Homer. Very underused card. I don't know why. I, I feel like it has a decent effect. It just didn't really catch on too much. Oh my goodness. And again, I can't open stuff. I can't open packs today. I, 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 just, I just can't. I'm just so bad at it. So we start off with Giant Axe Mummy. Yeah. <laughs> Gravekeeper's Vassal. Teuton Mask. Time Eater. Our rare is Wing Sage Focus, which isn't a bad card. Very, um, very good card. Call of the Mummy. Impachi. Shape Snatch. The best normal monster. Needle Ceiling. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, Shape Snatch. Don't know why they bothered to print five star normal monsters. I mean, they become useful later, but just in these. Just like old stuff. Like, no one would run them. Why? There's no point. So we have non-aggression area, mucus yolk, charmer shati, pyro clock of destiny. A rare is coffin seller, grave keepers, guard. Big fan of grave keepers. Hieroglyph, lithograph, cruel, and Buster Rancher. All right, all right. Next is. Oh, these are very hard to find. Uh, Magician's Force, I had trouble tracking these down. So these are very, very, very expensive. Uh, well, I won't say how much, but yeah, yeah, hard to find. I have to get a Dark Magician Girl. Just, just a Dark Magician Girl would be nice. Magical Marionette. Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. Pixie Knight. Burning Beast. And our rare is Armor Axe. Okay. Giant Orc. Anti-Spell. Pitch Dark Dragon. And Amazon Spellcaster. Interesting. Now our second pack of Magician's Force. Hopefully I get a hollow. If not, I'll be kind of disappointed. But then again, uh, that's the chance you take buying sealed products. Especially on eBay. Even though if you ask if they're weight or not. They probably are. Physical double. Decayed commander. Remove brainwashing. Kaiser Colosseum. Good card. Cat's ear tribe is our rare. Gross. But okay. Giant orc. Pitch dark dragon. Amazon spellcaster. And magical scientist. So two duds in that magician force pack. That That's great. Next we have dark crisis from... The Game Board Edition. And I have one that's just an unlimited one after this. Start with Final Countdown. Very good card that made the pack. Cyber Raider. Desperuk Archfiend. Blindly Loyal Goblin. A rare skill drain. That's not a bad rare at all. That's a pretty good rare. It's a good rare skill drain. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Panamonium Watch Bear. Keldo. And Precious Cards from Beyond. That wasn't a bad pack. Final Countdown and Skill Drain. Very nice cards. Second pack of Dark Crisis. This is unlimited. So we start off with Blindly Loyal Goblin. Uh, Mustering of the Dark Scorpions. Spell Reproduction. Gaga Gigo. A super rare Medor Medora. Very cool. Very cool artwork on that. Super rare. Precious Cards from Beyond, Goblin of Greed, Archfiend's Oath, and A Deal with the Dark Ruler. Dark Ruler ha Hades. Now we move on to Invasion of Chaos. This pack is from the Game Board Edition. Let's see what we get out of here. I hope it's something good. Recycle. Slip Heat, not a bad card. Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. That's a fun card to play if you're playing against uh, Shadal's. Just when they play like Shadal Fusion or El Shadal Fusion. Boom. And then our rare is Chain Disappearance. Not a bad rare. Uh, Gigantis. Yellow Luster Shield. Anti Aircraft Flower. And Giga Gaga Giga. Oh, oh, oh. He evolved since last time I saw him. Oh my god. Cards, please. 
Please stop. Please. Oh my goodness. Next pack of Invasion of Chaos. This is unlimited. This could be from the original Legendary Collection. I'm guessing these are where those packs are from because they're unlimited. Also very hard to open if you didn't already tell. So we start off with Gora, the Turtle of Illusion. Jade Insect Whistle. Multiplication of the Ants. A Hero Emerges. A Rare's Ultra Evolution Pill. Okay. Big Koala. Recycle. Slipede. And Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell. Well, that pack kind of sucked. Next, we move on to one of the dumbest sets. This Ancient Sanctuary. Yeah, why do I say that? I don't know. I just didn't have anything good in it. Like, I got these for like $2.99, first edition. So, you, you know, they're, they're, they're garbage. So, we start off with Absorbing Kid from the Sky. Goblin Thief. 2,000 Needles, Order to Smash, S uh, Rare th uh, Theban Nightmare, Blessings of the Nile, Legendary Jinjutsu Master, Beckoning Light, and Katu Desiders. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Next pack. Beginning to figure out why these are worth so little because every card in it sucks and it's bad. No one likes this set. Why is this set a thing? Goodness. Backfire. Three Humped Laguda. Earthquake. Pharaoh's Servant. Rare Draining Shield. Okay. Rocket Jumper. Monster Gate. Knight Assailant. And Dora Fate. So that rare Draining Shield. Not bad. Not bad. Next is Soul of the Duelist. I hope I pull a Horus card. This Horus is one of my favorite cards ever. We got Skullbone Mar Maran, Unshaven Angler, Taunt, Sandwich, Rare as Arm Dragon, level 5. Gross. Big Wave, Small Wave, Mass Dragon, Neo Aqua Madur, and Absolute End. Again, not great. Boy, that first pack was one and done, isn't it? It's looking that way. Uh, Rise of Destiny. Another just awful set. Nothing good in it. I mean, seriously, nothing good in this side either. I just know. So we start off with Back to Square One. Lighten the Load. Harpy Lady Number Two. Creeping Doom Manta. Rare Flint, bad. Heavy Mech Support Platform, Astral Barrier, Y. Ballista of Rampart Smashing, Moki Moki Smackdown. Wow. Dreadful. So, three packs left. Start off with Flaming Eternity. Nothing really good in this set either, honestly. Refusion. Elemental Vapree, Beast Soul Swap, Ushioni, and a Ultimate Rare Forced Ceasefire. So our first Ultimate Rare. I think this was the first time um, they did Ultimate Rares was in the set. So there you go. There's our Ultimate Rare for Ceasefire. Uh, Mecha Dog Maron, Firebird, Big March of Animals, and the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. So there we go, we got an ultimate rare, ultra rare, super rare. Our last two packs are Lost Millennium, first edition. Now if I can open these, that'd be fantastic. Of course I can, I'm just so bad. Can't do anything right. <laughs> I did it. Elemental Hero Avion. Rock Bombardment, Haida the Fire Charmer, Des Wombat, or Rare's Ancient Gear Beast. Okay. Mind Golem, Grave Lure, Asa the Earth Charmer, and Impenetrable Formation. All right. Final pack of this opening. It's been a rather dreary one. 
but the first card was the best card, unfortunately. Should have went backwards. Ancient Gear Soldier, Gift of the Martyr, Elemental Hero Clayman, Final Ritual of the Ancients, and a super rare Mega Rock Dragon. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. I'll give it that. That's pretty cool. Shifting Shadows, Dummy Golem, Lone Wolf, and Lost Guardian. So let's summarize our pulls. Pretty disappointed, but you know, I that's the chance you take. So we start off with Mega Rock Dragon, Forced Ceasefire, Medora, Last Turn, Fire Princess, and Regeki. So this has been Iron Knuckle. Thanks for watching this nostalgic opening, and I hope to do more openings like these in the future. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.